Hi friends, I hope and pray you are well. I want to share a quick story with you of a, a woman named Carol Mack, who for over 45 years uh, taught at a little church school. She was a first and second grade teacher. Uh, and unfortunately, she recently was diagnosed with stage four cancer and is transitioning to hospice care. However, before she left the hospital, uh, I think this is like within the last week, uh, her, her current students showed up and they were able to visit with her and they sang for her, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes of just some worship music. And not only did her current students show up, but even their, some of the kids' parents who were former students of Carol. 45 years is a long time to be able to teach, but also, more importantly, be able to share the love of Jesus with others. And so, um, you know, there's a couple of things that I take away with this is that um, gratitude. These kids were grateful and, and uh, for their teacher, Carol. And one of the things that I think that gratitude does is it moves us to be able to ask, hey, how can I also help others? What can I do? Out of the gratitude of their hearts, they showed up and they sang for her. It may not seem much, but for Carol, it meant the world to be able to see her, her children. And uh, she has a tough journey ahead, but she knows that she's not alone. She knows that the many years of service that she has done uh, meant something. And so my question to you is, what are you grateful for? And how can you use that as a springboard to, uh, uh, as a base to, how can I help serve others? So with that, I hope and pray you're all well. Take care and we'll see you the Sabbath.